Hello and welcome to the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, built in the late 1950s and named after the former president of Sevilla. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's the Czech Republic against Denmark. Yeah, thanks Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start, be accountable for your own performance, but above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. A look then at the starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And they kick off here. Kral. And the ball with Andrzej Kudela. Suchek. Well, he's a wonderful talent, Christian Eriksen, and highly influential on the pitch. You have to come to the conclusion that he'll have a big say on today's proceedings, Lee. Well, Derek, all forwards need a supply line. Sometimes they create goals themselves but invariably the supply line comes from midfield. Well, here he is, the creator, superb vision, fantastic technically, silky skills, I love him. Celustka. Darida. Well, sometimes there's no great mystery in terms of a team's preferred style and the visitors do like to press high. It's very much their game. Lee, would you expect to see more of that? Yeah, I think it's their preferred option for sure. It'll be interesting to see how high and how long they press for in this game. It's a really physical way of playing. That tactic suits them, but can they do it for all of the game? Mastery of the passing game. Celustka. Suchek. And Patrick Schick now. Losing possession a bit easily. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. And Patrick Schick now. Darida. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Opportunity to take the lead. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here.
Obviously, it's a tap in, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The opening goal of the game then. Mele. Now Thomas Delaney. Hoybier. Eriksson. And Hoybier with it. Paulsen. Well, he's lost it. Kral, Dahida, Schick, theme emerging of wasted possession, it's opening up for them, real danger, is it going to be? Suchek, Dahida, They do pass the ball with authority. Patrick Schick! And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, he doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, a second goal for them here. He has time to play it over. Kral, what can they do from here? Suchek. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Schick. It's with Masopust. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I don't think too many of us were predicting this, but Christian Eriksen has been quietly. Well, there can be space found out there. We've seen that, but he just can't seem to free himself from the defenders right now. His team need him to find something if they're going to turn this around. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Daniel Vass. Kea has it. Hoybier. Paulsen. And Hoybier with it. 
Christensen. Jonas Vint. Eriksson. And he's taken it away. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Schick. Beautifully weighted ball. And the alarm bells are ringing. Davida. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Daniel Vass. Kea. Here is Vass. Jonas Vint. Oh, good use of the ball. Can they get in behind them? Fabier. Now Thomas Delaney. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Can they take advantage of the situation? In position! Well, he really read that brilliantly. Jonas Vint. An alert intervention. And on the ball, Jan Borgil. Here's Patrick Schick. Suchek. Masopust. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Suchek. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. It is to be a throw in. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Darida. Opportunity! And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Kea. Kea. Kea has it. And Hoybier with it. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? And space for the cross. Fabier. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. Fabier. Here is Vass. Jonas Vint. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result, that was. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, nine out of ten.